here today with the request of uh, Liz Gonzalez. Um, she asked that her advocates, um, community members come out, activists to support her while she was um, given the, the body camera today. It was supposed to be um, given on May the 4th. Uh, for some reason, it was pushed to today. Um, she was not prepared. She's not prepared to speak today. Unfortunately, she would not be talking. Um, I do want to let the public know that uh, the community has been waiting for this body camera. Um, it's overdue. Um, this incident happened on January the 4th. We are coming into May this weekend. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. We in District 3, where this shooting occurred, will be the second shooting that has happened. First one was Mike Ramos last year. And it hasn't even been a year, and we already had a second shooting again. In the same district, which is the District 3 where I reside and where I represent, my community is not just irate, they are in fear of the fact that Austin Police Department continues to kill our children, brown and black. Our minority children are being killed by Austin Police Department, and we still have an issue that's not being addressed. And so we are asking that the public, we are asking all media outlets, even nationally, to get involved in this case of Alex Gonzalez. He was brutally murdered by APD. And we will not stay silent to that. Our community is in danger because we do not trust APD. We're scared. Our children are not being trained of how to handle when they are being stopped by a police officer and they don't even know if they're going to be killed. So many killings across the nation are happening with black lives. It's happening here in Austin, Texas with brown lives. And this needs to be addressed. This is an emergency press conference for community leaders, elected officials, the mayor and the city manager to take a step up and figure out how are we going to protect our community. Mm. We live in this community. We are constituents and we are taxpayers. And it is our right to see that body camera. And if APD does not want to release it, and if the attorneys of Alex Gonzalez does not want to release it, to the public, we have an issue. Mm -hmm. And we're here to communicate that to the public and to the community. There has to be a change made, and we need to make it now. There is no time for us to just sit back and allow this to keep happening, because I guarantee you APD is going to shoot another brother or another sister of the minority population here in our city. So I ask you all to continue to demand for justice for Alex Gonzalez. He deserves it. His family has been distraught and devastated. And the community has watched this continue to happen here in my city. And we will not allow it. We are peacefully coming to everyone and asking for assistance and asking that these officers that were involved in this hateful crime, that they be arrested and they be indicted and charged and convicted. The family of Alex Gonzalez cannot sleep. They are heartbroken and the community is heartbroken because we don't understand how this continues to happen and these officers are not arrested and they're still in their homes, still being paid by APD. The community is backing up Ms. Alex Gonzalez's family, yeah. and we are not going to stop fighting for her and her family. Alex Gonzalez was a father, a son, and he did not deserve to be shot that many times and killed that way. And we deserve answers, and we deserve justice in our city. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any questions? Yeah. Are you able to say, um, I know you mentioned mom couldn't even get through the video. Are you able to talk a little bit about how emotional it was for her today? It was so emotional today. I think leading up to today, we met with her Sunday and we spoke with her all the way to this morning. She was so emotional that because she knew that her son didn't have a gun. And so today would be the first time that she witnessed mm. and she witnessed something that she could not share with us today. Um, she just 
was so devastated and, and emo she had so much emotion, she was crying, she rushed out of here. She needed some, some breathing time, she needed to be alone. Um, I think that them waiting so long to show her the video, with the, into, you know, her being so um, hyper and wanting to see the video that when she saw what she already knew, I think that she just couldn't even finish it. And so she asked that the attorneys and, and her uh, spokesman, Karina, continue to watch the video because she just could not handle it. She needed some time, she needed some space. Uh, Ms. Gonzalez um, has been through so much um, with the fact that her grandbaby was in the vehicle when the vehicle was shot up, uh, the fact that they're in intensive counseling. Um, there is so much going on in this case that the public does not know. We are asking for uh, the attorney to come, attorney's firm to come out and give a public statement. We're asking APD to come out and give a public statement. Yes. And now, we're, now justice, we're demanding justice. it. Why, why does you, you mention that it's not just APD, it's Alex Gonzalez's family's attorney that's requesting the video not be released to the public. Why is that? Madam, the community, we, we really don't. Would you mind yeah, come on. Yes, my name is Corinne Williams, the revolutionary activist from Austin, Texas. Um, as a community, we have decided to get involved because we have anticipated um, some true leadership from our officials, and we felt as being a community in Austin that we were already on the right page to get transparency and started out this year in hopes that that was happen after the defundation of Austin Police Department, after the stepping down of Chief Manley, and, and after the removing of, of, of different uh, uh, city officials. We got Spencer Crunk in office now. And so we expected these things to be already positioned to continue to be transparent and authentic enough for the community to accept it, and that, that didn't happen. And so at this point, we, we are aware that uh, Mr. Uh, Alex Gonzalez was killed and he was murdered and then the family wasn't even able to bury the child. He was uh, also cremated. And so she didn't have the funding to bury, the, bury her child. She, she hasn't been able to work. She hasn't been able to receive community support. And so we don't want to get caught into politics or what the lawyers want to do and see fit or see what's best. The community needs this for right. us. My right. brother was yes, also sir. shot. I just right. left North Carolina, Elizabeth City, and we're going through the same exact thing Andrew Brown is going through with Alex Gonzalez. This happened before, but they were killed in the exact same way. But Alex was killed by an officer who wasn't even mm. at work, which is even worse. Yep. And so now we are, we are beyond pissed. That's right. We have what, less than a year from rioting and destroying Austin, yeah. Texas? Yeah. Less than a year, we had 60,000 people yeah. in one occupant of the city mm. protesting, yeah. and we still are doing the same thing, but not worse. You are lying, and you continue to lie. You're planting weapons on people. Y'all did it to Lawrence Parrish. Yeah. We tried to say we needed some change five years ago. But you couldn't stop then. Then you did it to Landon Nobles. And then you just kept doing it over and over and over. And then we had to attach Mike Ramos' name to George Floyd because George Floyd was the, the, the name that brought us all together. But in names that are getting washed up like Alex Gonzalez, he mm. is getting left behind him because it's still more names yes. and more names yes. and more names and more names. For black and brown people, give us a week of Justice. peace. America, police, give us one week of peace. But we won't get it. And you want us to be quiet when we protest. You want us to be quiet about footage. You want us to be quiet about transparency. But you want us to lay down and be quiet too while you beat us, while you shoot us, while you kill us. We're not supposed to say nothing. No more. No more. It is embarrassing to watch this woman sit around people who are supposed to care about her son. 
and tell her we don't need transparency. Nobody should. It doesn't matter if the community context. sees the footage. No, it doesn't matter. Well, guess why it does matter? Because maybe next week, maybe today, maybe next month, we are guaranteed that these people are going to do what they did to her son again. And if we don't be able, if we're not able to get transparency now, change laws now, remove people out of office now, then we're going to be here and we'll never get rest. And, then, and, and at that point, we're going to fight a different way. Yeah, at right. that yes, point, sir. we're not going to just yes, keep sir. standing here and we're going to keep marching and protesting and praying. No, right. we're going to fight a different way. I'm going to ask all our black women to get gun licenses. I'm going to ask them to be prepared to protect their children while we're not around and we're having to force to work as black men. But we're going to start protecting ourselves yes, because we are clear and it is true that you will not protect us. You are not here to protect us. So now you will see what you didn't want to see, but what we need to see, and that's black and brown bodies unite right here in Austin, Texas. And we're going to do it in the name and the spirit of oh, Alex Gonzalez. Like you will reap what you sow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now that is power. And what we have been stripped is from our power. And we can no longer allow any type of political, any type of legal, individuals or bodies keep the community, activists and advocates and mothers that have had to see their children die like Ms. Ramos like Brenda, like Brenda Ramos, again, still has not gotten justice. So we are in the same boat as we were last year and the years before. Are, are the attorneys, today, I mean, are her attorneys concerned that this is going to create a, a riot? I mean, that's what I'm just... It might. We are asking the same questions. <laughs> to, uh, we're, we're asking the question, why, why, is, why is the video the being protected? Because when you said she's surrounded by people who are supposed to care about her son, they are. you're talking about her she, attorney. Her son her firm, is cremated. Okay. This mm -hmm. city is responsible for her child's death. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth City in North Carolina wasn't responsible for Andrew Brown's death, and they paid, they paid. for his funeral. She has not received any type of compensation from victim services or anything here in our city of Austin. Our mayor has not even come out to do a public statement of our city. Our council member, Phil Renteria from District 3, where both of these shootings occurred, has not came out to speak in behalf of our community. Nobody has supported he, her here in City Hall. And that is the wrong thing, is how are we supposed to heal and how are we supposed to communicate effectively in this city if we don't even have our elected officials to support our families that have been victimized through police brutality. Their policy is 60 days. They told us during the winter storm that that would set back releasing the video, but that was a week. I mean, have they given her family, your community, any answers as to why it's now almost four Minnesota. months? They have not given her any answers at this time. And we, as a community activist, AGC, LULAC, other civic civil organizations that are out there in support of her um, are have yet to, to even get answers as well. We are literally in the dark. And that's why this press release was very, very important today was so you all can capture what we are going through without media involved. And the, what you saw today is just a, a, a sneak peek of what she has been going through mm. for the last four or five months. And so um, we have a big issue here. We have a lot of work to do. And again, I demand that the city manager and the mayor get involved. If we have to bring in other resources from other cities and states, if we have to bring in ben, uh, Benjamin Crump over mm. here to take care of this, we will do what we have to do because we are natives to this city. Alex Gonzalez w was a native of Dove Springs, 78744. Mm. Okay? I don't want people to forget his family's from here. And we, we should not be in this situation. We should be better. Austin could do better but they're not. And that's why we have to hold them accountable. So it's accountability. We demand justice for Alex Gonzalez. Well, we're gonna create a, um, um, a Facebook um, justice for Alex Gonzalez 
as organizers are going to be working really, really hand by hand with the family, with the attorney. We're doing a huge police brutality protest on May the 8th in East Austin. Um, Alex Gonzalez will not be forgotten. And so in honor, we will, we will march in his name and every brown and black individual that has been killed by police. And so that's the day that the community comes out to the street and we demand for justice on May the 8th. No justice! No peace! 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 Say his name! Alex Gonzalez! 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 Alex Gonzalez! Thank you so much. Yes, sir.